everyone and welcome back to Excel VBA tutorial series uh, guys so today um, we're going to repeat an exercise of how to perform loops and um, we will merge the usage of loops alongside with the if statement so as you can see I've loaded up my Excel workbook there's a list of names here there's a list of scores and there's an empty field of outcome so what we're looking at to achieve through this loop is that anyone that has scored above 30 30 or above 30 should get a pass as an outcome and whoever hasn't should get a fail as an outcome so without wasting any time let's just jump down to the developers tab click on visual basic and jump down to your module so sub get pass percentage so we've created a new sub let's define an integer a variable as an integer and um, let's define um, an op um, a string I'm sorry again an integer for example pass as integer let's say I equal to 2 so when we loop we would want to start from row 2 so let's say I equal to 2 let's say my pass equal to um, this workbook dot sheets um, loop example dot cells um, row number one and column number one two three four five I'm sorry row number two and column number five will be our pass which is 30 so let's run the loop now let's say um, let's use a while loop so let's say do while this workbook dot sheets loop example dot cells here comes the row which is the second row i here comes the column the first column which is column a so i'm saying we will start a loop from john in column a and the loop will keep running until it finds a blank value so as soon as the loop reaches row number 8 it will find a blank value so while the cell value is not blank the loop will keep running the moment it reaches here the loop will end so let's say um, if this workbook dot sheets loop example dot cells i1 dot value i2 dot value rather so we need to check the scores i2 dot value is greater than or is greater than or equal to pass then let's say this workbook dot sheets loop examples dot cell 3 dot value should automatically become pass if it isn't then the value that we're looking at should automatically become a fail so and um, finally here we will write i equal to i plus 1 what this would do is every time the loop runs it would increase the value of i which means the row number will keep on increasing and we will get to the end so we are now ready with our loop we can just click on run and we have our outcome right here with 33 being passed 31 being passed and 29 being fail and so forth so thank you for watching guys and stay tuned on more videos and take care